What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to this video. We're back on the Toyota Tundra once again. We've got to finish this truck up. Um, I know there's a couple things holding us up, like the, the interior is kind of holding me up. Uh, we still need a, uh, we're waiting on the airbags. I sent out the, uh, the seat belts, the SRS module. Um, I sent out those out two days ago, so I should be getting those back pretty soon here. Um, I don't know exactly when. It is a 24 hour process, so uh, as soon as they get it, they fix it within 24 hours and they send it back to me. So, uh, same thing with the airbags. I don't know when those are gonna be coming in. Um, now, I did uh, put the battery on the tri trickle charger all night because you guys saw in the last video, I was messing around with, uh, with the wiring a little bit, so it did drain the battery. It did drain it quite a bit. Uh, it was barely starting yesterday. So, uh, another thing, my wife uh, left the doors open, the lights were on because um, she used the, the cleaning vacuum on everything, so everything was kind of wet and uh, all that stuff needed to get dry. I mean, we left the seats out here, those are drying. Uh, the cat got to one of them before we did, but you know, that's not a big deal. Uh, the truck runs so good and it did. If you guys did notice in the uh, last video, uh, I was trying to bleed the, uh, the cooling system and as you can see, it did take a little bit more of uh, coolant. So um, the fill line is right here, right where my finger is at and it did take some more. So um, I'm sure that it still needs to take a little bit more because I still have, I want to say a little bit over a quarter of this bottle left. So it needs to take the rest of that. Uh, I mean, guys, this thing's like a baby. I mean, you gotta, you gotta, you know, you gotta feed it. It's it, whenever it poops, you gotta change his diapers. So, um, so yeah, uh, I did leave you guys off yesterday with uh, installing the spacers, and as you guys can tell, I did get both the spacers on. I love the fitment. That is exactly what I was going for. I'm so happy with that. Uh, if you come back over on this side, you know, same exact thing. I am noticing that the, uh, this wheel is kind of towed, uh, is kind of towed in a little bit, and uh, same goes for that wheel. So um, I might have to do my own alignment. So I think the only thing I need to mess with is just the camber, the the camber bolts that, I, that when I change that lower control arm out. I think I just mess with that because I didn't mess with the uh, the tie rod tie rod at all. So that should be good. Um, if you guys are wondering how I do my own alignments, uh, what I pretty much do is I will find a spot on each wheel, and I will take a ta tape measure and I will measure uh, the distance from uh, the front side of the wheel, and then I'll go to the back, and then I will measure the distance from that, and then you know I will adjust. Uh, obviously this wheel wasn't touched during the accident this wheel was so you know I will adjust everything with that wheel so and then uh, you know I'm gonna take it to the to the alignment shop after that but guys I mean this thing looks so good let me close the hood here for you guys I mean obviously there's all this crud and stuff on here uh, I did go pick up some goo gone uh, to, to clean up all this residue from the tape that came off of Copart so um, and then I did mention in last video I am going to be painting those little uh, inserts I'm actually kind of planning on doing those myself guys I want to learn how to do everything like I said I'm starting out fresh from everything you know I went out bought my own tools um, and uh, and yeah so I'm just learning you know I'm, I'm kind of doing everything at a DIY I did do a couple cars here and there but you know this uh, this Toyota Tundra is probably my biggest project yet. Um, definitely stick around guys because there's a lot happening to the channel. This, this truck is is, pro is my main priority right now because I want this truck to be my daily driver. Um, you know, this truck is, 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 a, is a big one for me. Now, the next thing uh, I want to do is the bumper and the running boards. Now, the rain did kind of, uh, kind of, threw us off schedule a little bit it did rain two days in a row, in a row and it's supposed to rain today so um, as you guys can tell I did do a little bit of sanding I mean some of this stuff did sand out I mean this is super smooth right here but as you guys can see there's like there's just a couple spots where the paint just didn't want to uh, stick on very well I don't know I, I think I probably laid it on a little bit too thick but um, you know I, I 
I, I'm pretty sure this all will sand out. So I'm gonna sand this all down super, super smooth. Um, you know, all along the bumper. I mean, you guys can tell, it just looks so bad. It looks super blotchy. I don't like it at all. Um, and then with the running boards, um, I did get uh, a coat of primer on them and then the rain kind of uh, took over from there. But uh, I did paint the, the back side of this in that uh, coating. So I'm going to start sanding this up and then these need to get cleaned up because, you know, the, like I said, the rain got to them and there's just a whole bunch of like just crud on them. So, um, so let's get to it. I'm gonna you guys so I just got the uh, entire bumper sanded down I used the 220 grit sandpaper um, wet sanded it down everything is nice and smooth so I'm gonna take my time on this I'm gonna try uh, going with uh, lighter coats with the with the same paint um, and you know not and not spray as much in one area as, as I did with uh, the first time when I did on this because I mean like stuff like this uh, where like just blotched up so um, hopefully I get a nice coat and you know the end result is worth it so <laughs> Okay, so that was the first coat of the uh, the same Rust-Oleum rugged black uh, paint, and as you guys can tell, that looks a whole lot better. Everything looks a lot more even. Um, obviously, you know I'm gonna give it a couple more coats. Um, you know, like areas like this where it does still kind of look a little bit more blotchy. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna tackle this a lot more, but like coming down here that looks really good um, I'm really happy with this side uh, because uh, I mean it's, it just looks a whole lot better uh, I'm gonna let this cure and dry a little bit more. I'm gonna set I, I'm gonna leave it out here in the Sun uh, let it bake a little bit faster and uh, And just keep tackling it with more and more coats. So Yep that looks really good. Now, um, I'm going to start tackling the, uh, the running boards over there. Alrighty, you guys. So, I did get another coat on the, the bumper and, uh... I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but I mean that looks a whole lot better than what it did before. I mean there is like a dirt different like area right here, but you know I think I just need to throw more coats. Um, you know same thing with here, you can probably tell uh, like this corner right here looks a little smoother than everything else, but I mean that looks a whole lot better than what it did before. I mean, it was just a mess before. Now, um, I did run out of uh, this stuff, this Rust-Oleum paint, uh, the Rugged Black. Um, uh, I already mentioned this already. I got, I got like five, no, I wanna say like six of those cans already. Well, I did mess up a few on this bumper. I think I used like two cans on this, but um, yeah, if you guys are ever wanting to do this with that paint, uh, I expect to buy 
quite a bit of paint because uh, I didn't get full coverage on both of these running boards so I'm thinking I need to pick up like one more can um, and then it should be uh, should be good the bumper I still want to touch up a little bit still want to throw like a coat or two on there um, just so that you know like these like little smooth areas here um, you know they don't look like that like I, I want to go with this type of finished look to it so um, but yeah, no. and it dries up really quick as you guys can tell I mean it's drying up really really fast um, and then you know you can't see where that area the little blotch area was so uh, yeah I mean I'm, I'm happy with that that looks um, that looks a whole lot better now the next thing that I want to do is there's that little under tray that thing is just dangling there so um, and it, it is a little bent from the uh, when I got when it got hit uh, I think I can still try to make it work um, if anything I'll, I'll, I'll bend I'll take it off and I'll bend it back in place so let's go ahead and get that thing installed Alrighty guys, so you guys kind of saw me struggling with uh, this little bracket here. Um, I was able to bend this, uh, uh, I don't even know what you call this, under tray back into its original shape. Uh, the only area that's kind of messed up is, you know, you guys already saw me mess around with this bracket. Um, you know, all the bolts were able to fit in the holes perfectly nicely. Um, the only bolt that doesn't have it on uh is is you know where the brackets at but you know this thing isn't going anywhere i mean there's you know you got three bolts in the back uh and then you got these little hooks right here and right there that hook into the cross member and then you know i already got a bolt up there but you know whenever i do an oil change on this truck um uh you know i'll i'll i'll, I'll fix that um but you guys i mean <laughs> i'm trying to get this truck on the road uh, I'm not trying to sit here and mess around with little brackets. So while the truck is jacked up and it's got jack stands underneath it, I want to get the uh, alignment as straight as uh, as I can get it to. Um, and then, you know, I'll be able to take it to uh, to the alignment shop later on. So um, I just want to get it right now just so that it's driving straight and uh, I don't mess up the tires. Um, you know driving around on it so let's get that done are right, you guys so uh, I was able to align it as best as I can um, you know that that wheel looks straight same it goes with the same side for the other wheel um, So you know that 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 looks really good, but you know that's just temporary This is just so I can drive it around and take it to the alignment and they can you know fix that now um, coming back to these panels uh, so what I did what I just did was I took I have a uh, couple cans of this stuff this uh, Rust-Oleum gloss protective enamel this spray paint um, and I did a 
I kind of like sprayed it on this side because this side is going to get covered up by the plastic panel. So, you know, I, I wasn't worried too worried about it. But um, it's given it like this enhanced uh, black look. Um, you know, I kind of did it right here. And I really like that finish. Um, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but like all along here, you can see it's like this gloss black. Whereas this has like a more of a matte texture to it. Um, and I really like that because this, uh, I guess from far away, you, uh, it kind of looks like primer and I don't want that look. I really like, even in the sunlight, you can just, I hope the camera's picking this up, but you can just see how sparkly that, uh, that edge is that, uh, right there because I, I sprayed it with that Rust-Oleum paint. So that's what I'm thinking of doing. So um, hopefully I don't have like a reaction with both the paints. Hopefully, you know, it just sticks on there. But yeah, I really like that look. So let's go ahead and uh, let's let's start spraying that, um, that gloss uh, black spray paint on there. guys check that out that looks so awesome I really hope the camera is picking this up oh yeah that looks so good I am so happy I was able to f figure that out I mean sometimes you just gotta do it you know this turned out amazing Oh my goodness. Why didn't I think of this before? I have no idea. Look how awesome that looks. I mean just like in the light, it just it's just sparkly. Oh my gosh. I mean, I don't think I need to throw another coat on this of I, I I'm talking about I don't think I need to throw another coat of this stuff. Um because you know this uh, gloss, gloss protective enamel from a Stolium just, I mean, it just makes it pop. I mean, I'm not getting a weird reaction out of it, but oh my gosh, that looks so cool. I am so, I'm probably, I, I mean, I might even throw another coat of the, that gloss stuff on here. And I mean, I'm going to do the same thing with the, with this stuff. I mean, if it looks that good, um... I really like the finish of this, well at least to the touch, it feels really nice. Yeah guys, I think, I mean I probably won't even need to buy another one of those, uh, one of those cans because this already has texture to it. So if I just throw that, uh, that gloss stuff on here then you know it will, it will make all this stuff pop. So let's go ahead, um, I'm going to set you guys back up on the tripod and let's get the, uh, that paint on both of these panels. Uh, sorry if you guys hear a little bit of wind. I'm kind of like out in the open here on the driveway, but uh guys check this out Oh my goodness I am so glad I, I mean I'm starting to think that's how the product is actually supposed to be used um, Because I was just trying to use just that just the rugged black itself, but I mean this looks amazing I mean I got the texture that I wanted I got the shininess I wanted I mean this looks amazing and right now it's shady right now uh, the Sun the Sun is in uh, it's not showing yet it's beyond the clouds but as soon as the Sun hits this stuff I mean it's like it's sparkly everywhere um, I mean it just looks so amazing both panels I mean I thought I had to get another one of those cans but it turns out I don't need one um, and then I threw another coat on the bumper guys just check this out Look how good this looks Alrighty, well, I think that's it for those panels. Um, 
I'm gonna let that sit uh, sit there for a while. Uh, I might throw another coat on that, but I think the bumper is uh, done for now. Um, so I'm just gonna let this uh, dry, and uh, and then you know after it dries, it's ready to go back on the truck. I kind of already did a little bit of a head start, um, so I kind of put that entire interior together i know i don't got the airbags yet i know i don't got the seat belts yet but you know guys i don't like uh just having uh parts just you know just sitting there so and i like everything neat neat and organized so um you know i'm gonna start putting the interior back together uh, and then you know whenever the airbags and seat belts and stuff like that do come in you know um, I can just repeat the process of taking them off you know that stuff like that doesn't bother me um, so let's uh, start knocking out this interior and then while I'm at it you know I'm coming back and vacuuming stuff because um, when uh, my wife extracted everything with the uh, with a cleaning bag you know there probably still is some debris and uh, in dirt just sitting on top of this carpet but uh and it really it really stinks in here i mean it smells pretty bad it's like a mix of like uh coffee smoke and sweat it's it's pretty bad uh we put coffee beans everywhere as you guys can tell there's two little two little cups over there two in the back um if you guys don't know this uh coffee beans do take out the smell inside cars. I mean, coffee beans are probably the best product out there. Um, I mean, it's not even product, it's, it's, it's a food. So, uh, and, and it works, it beats everything, guys. I've tried so many different products, so many pro products specifically to, uh, to take out um, the smell inside cars and none of them ever work. They will work for probably about a month and then that smell will come back, but guys, try you if you if your car stinks in any way use coffee beans that stuff works wonders i mean um it's just yeah just use it <laughs> Alrighty you guys, so I got the whole interior all back together um, besides the airbags and the seat belts but um, guys the amount of storage this truck has is just insane I mean you got cup holders everywhere I counted 11 cup holders in this truck and you just got I mean just overall storage I mean look at how much sunglass holders you have you got three up here you got uh, you know another one right here on both sides. I mean just the amount of storage is crazy. I want to get this bumper on um, It is kind of drizzling out here, but Yeah, I'm really happy with how that came out. So uh, Let's get this sucker on and then those running boards. I have all the uh, plastic pieces here and uh, the brackets are sitting up there. So uh, let's start putting this thing together.
All right, you guys, don't mind the rain. Um, it might be a little bit loud and the frogs in the background. But anyway, so I got one of the running boards on. I didn't want to record it just because, uh, you know, I, it was a while since I took these apart and I didn't want to show you guys, you know, me being confused putting them together. But, you know, I did get the running board on. It looks great. Uh, and then what I did in the meantime was uh, I started emptying out the entire bed because uh, I am getting ready to pressure wash this entire truck because you know there's all this grime and stuff like that especially the front there's on the hood a whole bunch of gunk and stuff and my wife did clean up all the uh, the sticky stuff with the goo gone so huge shout out to her um, Guys, this thing looks so good. I mean, I'm just so happy how everything is turning out. Um, anyways, and I say that way too much, but uh, all right, well, let's pull it out. Uh, pull out the, uh, the pressure washer and start washing this thing. <laughs> Alright you guys, so that's going to be a wrap on today's video. As you guys saw, I just uh, finished up pressure washing the truck. Um, it cleaned up pretty nicely. Uh, I did discover a new, uh, uh, you know, some new dents here and there, like right here. Um, and the fender flares, where the fender flares were on, the camera probably won't be able to pick this up, but there is a little bit of yellow down here from the fender flares, so hopefully the camera picks that up. Um, we did come back with acetone because they did leave a little white, uh, mark around here, so hopefully in the sunlight that, that's not showing. But overall guys, I'm super happy with the truck. I mean, this was a long time coming for me. I also picked up uh, another box right behind you guys right there. Um, that's going to be for a separate video. Uh, that's a little bit of secret. You guys are going to have to stay tuned if you guys want to see what's in that box. So, and then another thing I want to point out, you know you, you know you did a good job when you have a whole box full of bolts left after putting back together your, your car after you took it apart. So, you know, that's always a good sign. Um, I am going to do a complete total review of this truck on how much all the parts cost me, each individual part, how much the truck cost me when I got it from Colpar, how much uh, the frame guy charged me to pull that frame and replace the frame rail. But you guys are definitely gonna have to stay tuned and hit the subscribe button because there's a moth trying to attack me. And there's a little kid walking around in the background. You can't see him. But, but anyway, so you guys are definitely gonna have to stay tuned. I can't give you guys everything all at once. Um, you know, I'm going to do separate videos and everything, um, but if you guys like what you guys see, definitely stick around, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share it wherever you can get me out there in the world. Guys, there's just stuff always coming. You guys are just going to have to stay tuned. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one.